Let's see what this 3D printed antenna does on 10 meters. 3D printed antenna. Kilo, Juliet 4, Yankee, Zulu, India. Kilo, uh, Juliet 4, Yankee, uh, Zulu, India. Uh, KG4, uh, Yankee, Zulu, India. Uh, good afternoon. You are 5767. My name is John Orr. Roger that. Name is Eric Echo Romeo. Andy and Charlie, you're about a 5556. Five, you were a little stronger a second ago, but uh, just testing out an antenna uh, that I made. And, and you're sounding good from Martinique here into Florida. Roger? Roger, Roger. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope everything is well in Martinique with some good uh, good weather there. And uh, it's beautiful here. Currently 73 degrees Fahrenheit in Florida. Uh, take care. And 7-3, KJ4, Y is the I. Okay, so a DX in Martinique, but we'll try Bud here in California. He's about the only one I can hear on the HF Activity Group on 10. So let me uh, see when I get a break here, and I'll give him a call, see if I can make California at least. Bud, I can only hear you, Bud. HA4YZI, any copy, Eric, at home there? Uh, yes, Bud, you and Alberta are the only ones I could hear, over. <laughs> oh, Alberta and uh, and uh, California, the only ones you can hear. Well, Eric, take a shot at it anyway and just see who hears you. All right, let's see if I can get Ireland in there, and that'll make four bands today on the activity group. This is KJ4YZI testing this 3D printed antenna on 10 meters in the backyard at 100 watts. Who can hear me? I've got your 4 and 1 NorCal. Okay, hold on one second. Alberta, you're loud. I got you, but uh, Ireland, you covered him up. Try it again, Ireland. Oh, I, I heard him, but he got covered up. Okay. Hey, thanks for taking a shot at it. We usually hear Eric in the mobile. Uh, let's see if Tom Parker can hear me. Can, Damn, I knew it. See, 10's not good today. 10 is not good today, but Ireland did come back to me, Alberta, and Bud, W3, Fox Fox in California. So there goes uh, the fourth, excuse me, the fourth test on this uh, 3D printed antenna. Let's see if I can do this one-handed here and get this carbon. Man, this carbon fiber mast, I tell you what, this thing, I must have got this four years ago from Gigaparts. Solid. Uh, it's, I'm going to tell you right now, it does not go in my shed. It's been out here for four years between when I lived in the RV and uh, when I lived in the old house. So there it is. That's what I was using right there. Pretty cool stuff, man. Just playing around with some stuff. Maybe I'll show inside one day about what's in this thing. But well, we got some other changes here. The other Eric in New York had redesigned it with a wing nut on here so that you could add different lengths of wire. And then he designed it just as the square here without the wings on here. I kind of like the wings. And, um, you know, idea with the dog bone here, you can kind of wind it up and adjust the length. But anyways, that, that's, it's fun. You know, you make a 3D printed antenna with some uh, toroid in here and, and uh, make it how you want, adjust it and put some PTFE wire on here. And I think it's a 49 to one. I'll get that information myself, but there you go.
Pretty fun, man. Bands are alive. Get on the air. 7-3.